Hello everyone, this is Tuba Mirza and welcome to Recoding. All the code used inside this video are mentioned inside the description box. So if you like the work we are doing and if you are learning something from our videos, please do subscribe to our channel and share it with your group because your subscription will make this type of video happen in the future. So without any further ado, let's get started. Today we are going to build a syntax highlighting app using Apple Text Kit Framework. And we are also going to use UI text view to show the text view. Our final app looks somewhat like this. Inside it, we created syntax highlighting for HTML document. You may implement for other purposes. First, create the Xcode project. Inside the content view file, create a state called text, which takes some pre-filled value. Then we show our state string to the text view. Create a Swift file called as highlight editor. Import Swift UI in it. Then create a structure highlight editor which conforms to UI view representable. Then inside it, type alias type UI text view which helps to automatically implement our make and update UI view function. Inside the make UI view, create a constant called let, which equals to UI text view initializer. Then return our constant. Inside our structure, we are going to require a binding from a content view text state. Then we set our view text to our binding text. Then apply a background color to our text view. Inside a content view, we require a structure highlight editor and provide a binding text. And inside the preview, you can see that our style is appearing. Then, inside our highlight editor file, we create a preview. Now let's learn how to apply attributes inside the text view. To do so, we create a constant called font, which equals to UI font, do system font and we provide our size.
then create another constant called attributed text which equals to and is mutable attributed string which takes a binding string. Then we create another constant called attributes which confirms to array of ns attributed string key and value which equals to our created attributes. Then using a view, we set our attributed text. We use attributed text dot add attribute function to apply our attributes to our range of whole binding text. Here you can see that now our text has starting to appear. Now let's create our syntaxing feature. Create a constant called text storage equals to NS text storage initializer. A text storage object notifies its layout managers of changes to its character or attributes, which lets the layout managers redisplay the text as needed. For our view, we are going to create a layout manager which equals to NS layout manager. It is an object that coordinates the layout and display of text character. Then create another constant containers which equals to NS text container. It is a rectangle area that can interact with auto layout initialize as CG size initializer. Then set width tracks text view to true controls. Whether the text container adjusts the width of its bounding rectangle when its text view resizes. Then we put a container inside layout manager. Then using our text storage, we add our layout manager. Then inside our view initializer, we add the frame with CG rect initializer and our text container. Add our attributes to our text storage.
Now add some property to our view. Oh, here we need to add our attributed string which equals to ns attributed string and we pass our string and attributes. Then we append our attributes to our text storage. Let's now create our syntax more colorize. We create a variable which confirms to array of string and our attributed string which initializes as empty array. Let's create a constant tags. Equals, we set foreground color to the system color. Then we set a replacement to track the tags inside the HTML. Then create a for loop for a replacement which gives a pattern and attributes. Then inside the try catch closure, create a constant regex which takes up our string. Then create a range according to our text bindings. Then after matching our regex values and enumerated matches which takes up text and our range. It gives our match flags and stop. Then we get the match range from the matches. We add the respective attributes to our text storage. Finally, we catch the error. Then type the text inside the state. And here you can see that a text appeared.
And yes, let us know what you liked or disliked about this video in the comment section. Please do like and subscribe to our channel. And yes, do not forget to suggest some more topics. For now, I'll be signing off. We'll definitely see you all in the next video.